What we're trying to show you with this vehicle here today is not what the driver sees, but what the vehicle sees. And this is a pre-series car, or pre-development car, and it's a radar visualisation car, um, but it has um, radars in there that are due for production at the end of this year. So these are 77 gigahertz sensors, and the reason we work at 77 gigahertz is because there's lots of potential. It's a very capable sensor, and one of the reasons why you could see when you're driving around um, the detail of the world around you and to be able to fuse those sensors in a system so that the vehicle can make a decision. One is positioned on this side here, one on the other side on the front, and there are two in the rear. We see a trend um, towards more sensors around the vehicle, so you have to make them cheaper and still high performance. There are an amazing amount of brains in, the, you know, in a car like this. It's very, very complex in terms of the computing power that's in here. Um, you know, as a human being, you have more than one sense. You have several. You can see, you can smell, you can touch. The reason that you have those um, is over millions of years you've evolved because you need those to survive, because you need to perceive your environment. And it's no different from a vehicle. One sensor doesn't work. You need multiple sensors for it to be able to survive in the real world, and survive is getting as a safety thing. For Autolib, it's about real world safety, and as you can see, as we did see, the world gets very, very complex very, very quickly. 